You know, the good news is, uh, is really gooder than we think. The good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, it, you know, the gospel is basically this. Jesus took all of our shame, all of our guilt, all of our sin, all of our judgment, all of our curse, all of our sickness and disease, all of our poverty, all of our lack. He took all of that with him to the cross, and God judged it. God judged all of our sin, past, present, and future, all of our wrongdoing, all of our guilt, all of our shame, all of our addictions, all of our mistakes have been judged once and for all in Jesus. God looked hard and long at my sin and judged it and burned up my sin when he burned up Jesus with his wrath. He exhausted his wrath. He exhausted his wrath against me when he burned up Jesus with his judgment on the cross. Jesus was the lightning rod of the curse. He absorbed the lightning rod of God's wrath so that we could fully enjoy the blessing of God. Man, that's amazing. I'm resting today in the fact that God loves me unconditionally based upon the price that Jesus paid. I'm redeemed from God's anger. I'm redeemed from future judgment, future rejection by God. Uh, that doesn't make me want to go out and sin and live loose and live immorally because there are consequences, just consequences for, for foolish living. Sinful living produces consequences. God will never hate me, but if I continue to live in selfishness and greed and uh, addictions and sin, um, people won't love me. I'll destroy my relationships, but God will never, never stop loving me. He'll never reject me. In fact, he'll try to get me out of those kinds of, of uh, destructive patterns. But the bad things that are happening in your life or my life are not the result of God's judging us. It's not God, God's wrath. It's not God trying to teach us something. All of that was expended on Jesus. The curse of the law has been taken away. The curse of disobedience. All of the curses that would come on the people in the Old Testament for disobeying the law have, has been removed. The curse has been removed. Jesus became cursed once and for all. For eternity, he was cursed for us so that the blessing of Abraham is now ours. It belongs to me and you. Amen. And so I'm not behaving in order to be blessed. I am blessed. And out of that blessing, I behave. I'm holy. Uh, I'm, I'm behaving and, and growing in my ability to live holy because I am righteous, not so I can become righteous. It's a total different mindset. It's a different paradigm. It's transformational. That I'm living out of acceptance. I'm not living to be accepted by God. I'm living because I'm accepted by God. I, I'm learning to make decisions because I'm loved, not to be loved. It's a powerful, it's a powerful mindset, the gospel. It's already ours. Everything we need is already ours in Christ. We're not trying to get it, not trying to earn it. We're trying to live in it, trying to walk in the reality of it. That's the essence of the gospel. And I love it. I love what Paul said. He said in Ephesians 1, 3, he said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Think about that. We are already blessed with every spiritual blessing in Christ. We're not trying to get blessed. We're not trying to earn the blessing. That was earned through Jesus. He earned it, and now we are blessed, and we're trying to learn to walk in the light of it. We shouldn't be praying, oh God, come and do this, come and do that. We should pray like Paul did in Ephesians 1. God opened their eyes to see who they are. Open our eyes to see what we have, what we can do, and who we are. Amen. Paul said in Romans 1, 16, he said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God to everyone who believes. To the Jew first and also to the Greek, us, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. We have been made perfectly righteous by faith in what Jesus accomplished on the cross. Amen. And it's from faith to faith. It's You get saved by faith. But you'll walk out every single blessing by faith. It's not from faith to works 
Some people get saved by faith, and then they're given a bunch of rules and laws and customs to keep. And they enjoy their salvation, maybe for an hour, maybe for a day or a week, but then they get all the church customs put on them that they've got to do and got to keep, and they get worn out. It's bait and switch. We come through the door of grace, and on the other side of grace, for many Christians and many churches, you come in the door of grace, but you're going to be given a rule book, a law book, a custom book, a how this is how we stay saved book. But the real truth of the matter is we start out by faith in what Jesus did, and we live the rest of our life trusting in what Jesus did. We begin by faith. We walk it out by faith. Everything is from faith to faith. Faith in the finished work of Jesus. That's the gospel. That's the message that has changed lives for centuries. And that's the message that has changed my life and is continuing to change lives all around the world. Thank God for the gospel of Jesus Christ.